some old guy coding again and I wanted to try um, using the laser and some of that veneer to uh, just make a little inlay and we're gonna do it uh, very simply to begin with because I have no idea what I'm doing and so so what we have here is just a rectangular uh, rounded rectangular box and it's in uh, ESTL cam and uh, to cut the recess for this to go into I'm just going to call make a hole out of this guy and uh, come on there we go there and we're gonna pocket it in and uh, I'm gonna give the minimum depth I'm gonna try to enter zero but it never takes it there oh it did tool path depth perfect and up here I've got my uh, z-step set to minimum um, uh, because it, we're using the laser, I want to get the laser in focus, and I really don't want ESTL cam to, to move it on me. So uh, here's the setup I have for the laser, as you can see. Um, I've got it set to 20 millimeters per second, just to start with. We can always adjust it on the, on the uh, control panel downstairs. And this is the pocket we're going to make in the wood. And uh, I save that away, of course, to um, um, a G-code file. Now let's go ahead and delete that then. And that I cut. I was go I'm going to cut into um, a piece of wood, and then uh, to cut out the piece of veneer that's going to go in there, I'm going to say uh, call it a part, and uh, we'll do the we'll do the same sort of deal here. Zero. So it doesn't change the uh, Z height once I've got the laser focused. And we'll save that to a, a, a G-code file. Uh, additionally, I wanted to mention here uh, that I also set the clearance plane to zero. And I start the uh, set the start and end uh, um, settings to origin, trying to keep the Z axis from moving uh, so that the laser uh, stays where it's focused. So here we are again with the veneer. I wanted to play with this a little bit. I know we didn't open it during the unboxing video, but I wanted to get ready to start using some of this and try, try cutting it with the laser and the CNC machine and see what we can do. Hmm. Smells interesting. <laughs> Let's just grab a piece off of here. I don't know if that's something, maybe I should seal it back in a Ziploc bag or something to keep it uh, from absorbing any moisture. That probably isn't a bad idea. So I'll, I'll do that. And, and I made the changes in the firmware, of course, to uh, allow the uh, laser to run from, uh, I think it's been 44 again. Just like we did in an earlier episode. Uh, the fan speed control is a lot finer on this release. It doesn't immediately jump up to four. I can actually set it to one if I want to, which is kind of cool. Problem is it's kind of rough on the bottom here. Let me move that out of the way so you can see here. This is kind of rough down here. You know, the laser is going off of, over different parts of the uh, grain, and some of it's uh, thin and some of it's thicker. Is it is it all thin enough? Let's see if we can cut a piece of veneer. Look at that. So it's a little browned on the edges. I'd be uh, curious, I think I'll try running, uh, see if I can cut it at one pass slowly and see how that compares to uh, five passes at a fairly good clip. So now, all important question. How does that fit in here? Let's 
certainly seems like it wants to go in. It certainly is above the surface. I suppose you'd want that though, wouldn't you? So you glue it and then you sand it off. I don't know. Works pretty cool though. So let's try a couple of things here. Let's glue that guy in there. And I've got some thin super glue here. I imagine uh, everybody's got their own thing to put this in with. Well, come on out of there. Oh, there it comes. So let me apply some in here. Oh man, that is very, very thin. So I'm going to get it around the edges here. And we'll pop this guy in. Okay, we'll turn this guy on. This time I'm going to turn the speed down by 50%. And we'll see how that works. Honestly, it doesn't feel that much different to me. It's too bad we glued that one in. So we could try it. Well, let's go ahead and flip around here. And uh, see, it took me five tries to get that one, five uh, passes to get that other one cut. <laughs> so why don't we take the speed down to 20% and see how that compares. It really looks horrible, or uh, what? All right, let me uh, put it down there. I really need a piece of tape to kind of tape that guy down there. But all right, the way we go. Two. <laughs> yep, <laughs> cut it right out. So 25, 20% uh, of whatever I have it currently signed out, and we'll take a look at that upstairs. You know, I think that looks fine. I don't think it looks any worse or better than the other one. I think it's just one pass, beautiful. Let's go ahead and compare that and get that into that slot over here and see how that feels knock that guy down so you can see my nice dark spot here and uh, yeah, just, uh, that feels much more flush than than the first one did so obviously we're we're getting deeper in the wood that is pretty cool I like that yeah it's got the black line about around it but you know so I wanted to go around the outside edge here Well, that is just really, really watery stuff. I'd like to take it out in my belt sander, but you know, I, ooh. so I already pulled this one up because he was off in the wrong spot. He's not fully glued down. He was up on the edge there a little bit, so I caught him. But this one here, it's nice and uh, down the end of the material. Yeah, boy, that feels nice and uh, flush now. nice. And I kind of like the black, uh, you know, kind of delineates that, uh, you know, it's been inset there. I should make a chessboard or something out of this stuff. Well, that'd be pretty cool. And uh, that is in there very nicely. It's not going any place. I can't get a fingernail in there. It seems like it's recessed into the wood properly. Pretty cool. What do you think?